Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a kind of review slash a little bit of an unboxing. So for the Erin Conjuring 2018 Academic Planner. So I had filmed this video yesterday and when I was watching back and I was in the editing process, I felt like I didn't give that well of in-depth review comparing the two because um, if you have seen my other video on this one, this is the old academic planner. I have done a review on that one. I will leave that up in the card somewhere and at the end of the video. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera there. But um, I did an in-depth review on that. And then I don't think I shared too much. I don't think it just wasn't looking how I wanted. So I wanted to refilm it for you because I felt like there are some, there are a lot of differences in this new one for the 2018 versus the old one. So if you are looking to get the new one, I will try to get this video up as soon as I can, just so you know what are the differences. But um, these are them two side by side. As you can see, I got the same, um, let me turn it around. I got the same print for both of them. There was another print I wanted, but um, it cost a bit more than I was ready to spend. So I want to say the price did go up, but I will get more into that later on why in just a second. I'll talk about why I think the price went up and it's pretty justified reason. But um, as usual with the academic planner, you get the monthly stickers that you get, the dots. You get a little to and from sticker right here and the postcard that you get as well. And that is that. So this is the normal that you get with the academic planner. Same things I got last one for this last one. But um, here's the old one. Here's the new new one. So I feel like I can't remember exactly how much this one was, but I know it was not as much as this one was. So this one I want to say was forty something dollars, and that's without any discounts or something like that. I want to say these were used to be only like thirty five. I want to say, but um. Yeah, I had noticed that I was like, I don't remember this being $40. I, if you bought one last year, if you've ever bought one in the past and you remember exactly how much, comment that down below. I feel like it was only like $35 or something like that. So, but um, the reason for the price difference is obviously this is, as you could tell, a lot bigger than this one. This one is a 12 months right here. It tells you right at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and open up. It is 12 months. It also, since it is 12 months, it's a lot more bigger. It's I feel like it's definitely going to be more sturdier than this one was. Because with this one, I had, throughout my semester, I had some pages, like, fall out. Like, wherever my, I'm trying to see, wherever spring break was. Like, as you can see, like, the pages started to rip out, like, after use and just having it for a while. But, um, yeah, it definitely got some wear and tear. Here's, like perfect example here's half the month of one of them and I don't know where the other uh, half of the month is so I felt like it's not as sturdy as you can see from the last one keep in mind this is the old one not the new one um just so you're not thinking I'm showing you the new one but um it definitely wasn't as I guess say sturdier as I would have expected definitely pages were starting to fall out so I'm hoping this one probably won't have the same issue Probably won't have that issue because maybe it has with the coils will probably protect it a bit more. But I'm going to go ahead and get right on into it. Um, if I didn't say earlier, my name is Lauren. Um, if you like college videos, definitely subscribe down to my channel. Um, again, I've done another review on this one. If you want to see more in depth on that one, I'm not going to really go too, too much into that one. Just because I'll be repeating it a lot of stuff and this will make this video very long. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you open this one up, you get a dry erase board part since it is laminated. Um, obviously, you didn't get that with the old one. So you get this dry erase board area. It lets you know it's 12 months, the usual, putting your name, school, year. Um, this is one of the first differences you will notice. So normally in the old one, when you open up, I want to say you opened up straight to the monthly spread. I want to see. Yeah, you opened up straight to the monthly spread. Versus this one, the first page you open up to is your projects and exams. So, um, one of the reasons why I wanted to refilm is because I didn't really say too in depth how many of these you get. And I also didn't notice till I looked more in depth in the book on how many of these you actually get. 
So your projects and exams are going to be right in the front of the book. And this is all you have for the whole planner. So you have that side, that side, this one. I want to say it's like five or six pages of projects and exams. You have this one and then that one. So you have quite a bit. Um, and then you have there and there. And then this starts your monthly. Um, as you probably might have noticed, and I noticed once I looked more in depth at it, that each of the projects and exams is a different color. So it's meant for, like, for example, let me go to the first one. So here is the first one. This is meant for your first month. So it's meant for you to use one, one side per month. As you can see, that one's yellow. That one's kind of like a um, berry color. This one's the green. And then as you flip back to your first month, you're meeting back again with this greenish color. So it is meant for you to use one of those sides per month. That way you still are getting some per month because you're not going to get any more after that um, in the book. But um, you have this little note page right here and then you have this quote. Sorry if I'm shaking um, my phone a lot. I just have it on my tripod and I'm holding my tripod in my hand. So I'm trying not to shake too much, but I'm having to move. So I do apologize if it's very shaky. But here's your normal monthly spread. This is, I want to say very similar to how the last one looked. Let me just compare. Actually a little different, actually very different. Um, this is pretty much the same, but at the top you just have that. And then same, you kind of got a little area like you did on the last one. You've got this note at the head. Um, and then you've got like letting you know each day column. So that is kind of the same, but kind of different at the same time. And then right here, you get into your week of. For anyone who has not um, bought the academic player, I'm just gonna go in depth a bit more on this one. So one of my biggest things that I love about the academic planner and why I chose it over the life planner is because you can start this whenever you are ready to start this. As you see, it does not have at the top saying January or August or something like that for the semesters. You could start this, for example, like my old one. I did not start right away. As you can see, my first page, I started right in February. So that was one of my pluses was because I didn't want to get this and then I didn't start right away. So you can start whenever you're ready. You just label it right here and whatever day of the week, because as you see week of it's got it empty and then it just starts off Monday, Tuesday. So right here is normally where you will put the day and then you put the class homework and then you put what time it is due. Um, it depends on how you want to do it. You can put it where Say if you have a quiz on Monday, you'll put it here and then you could put um, for like whatever class it is. But if you want, say you have a project due, um, again, you can use the project page. I would just put the projects on the day that they were due on instead of using the project page. So I didn't really use the project page in my last one. So it just wasn't something that was for me because I didn't like the whole having to flip back to my project page, then back to my weekly page. I just rather have it all on one. So I just kept it all right here, but this is how the layout is. Just gonna give you an overview. So that is how that looks. And then they make your Saturday and Sunday like split them in half because most time you're not really having much due on those days if you do have anything due. So this is gonna be your first month and then right at the end. So this will be about right when you reach the end of the first month in your planner, you will get some note pages again like you did um, at the end of your projects. So you get about three or so just empty note pages. Yeah, three or four empty note pages. And then as you see, here is the new month along with the new quote right there in the new color. Also, another thing I want to note that I noticed yesterday after I got done filming, um, your colors on, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Your colors for your sticker numbers for the month go along with the color that is with that month. So that dark green goes along with this one. 
just so for coordination was but I did notice that and I don't think I said that when I was filming last but I noticed that so that goes along in matching here you go it lets you know as you go to a new month the color changes it's pretty much the same throughout the planner you get new color your monthly page and then your weekly page so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip straight to the back for you guys because the rest of it's pretty much the same layout so as you get to the back here is the last month and then you just have some more note pages like you did earlier so at the very end it has this right here quote and then it has that at the very end and then here is your sticker page so if you are a fan of doing stickers and you want some that are very school oriented they have some already in the planner for you this was the same in this one you had stickers in the very back of this one as well so um let me just run through what you get if you are someone who gets stickers that way before you go and buy your stickers you already know what you have in here so you have some exams midterms and then each column has about three blank spaces and then right here is for tests quizzes i don't know how well you can see that but that is read paper due and blank ones again study group and then study and blank and then no class vacation and some blank ones again so that is the end of the planner and then right when you flip past this page you have another kind of like dry erase board kind of um side at the back right here like you did in the very front that you can write on with dry erase board marker and then here is the back so this is pretty much the new layout of the new planner i overall like it i don't really have any complaints with it so um yeah that is pretty much the new layout and then I'm just going to open up the old one just to give you guys an idea of what it looked like. Um, this is what I used last semester. So here is, they had again the same color thing with um, a new color per month. Here's me putting the no class. Sometimes I would use the stickers, sometimes I wouldn't. Honestly, I still have quite a bit of my stickers from the last semester since obviously as you can see I didn't really use them every single month. But um, here is the projects and exam page. Again, I said I was not a fan of it just because it's not how I like to organize myself. But this is what the projects and exam page used to look like in the old one. And you would get these per month. So this is how it used to look like. This was the layout for the last one. And then you will go on to next month. Again, you start off. Just putting it in there and then just to give you an overview of what it looked like in the old one just for comparison and like I said um, you actually got quite a bit of note pages it's probably about the same amount of note pages that you got you get in this new one it's just all of your note pages are in the back so this is all notes right here versus instead of having them spread out throughout the months like in the new one you have them all in the back um note pages can be great it's all depends on if you use it if it's for you and then like i said you got the sticker page again so yeah i just wanted to show y'all that real quick just so you have an idea of what i'm talking about how it looks a little different um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i hope this let you know if you were going to buy one or not. Um, comment down below if you already have one, how you're liking it um, and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if I was very shaky in um, filming this. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video and bye.